match make your way into the ultimate medieval society in Lakeburg Legacies. Lakeburg Legacies is a strategy management game where a primary resource is love. Create buildings and assign professions based not just on their skills and interests, but also the complicated spectrum of relationships your citizens will form. At first glance, it seems like your typical management sim with a cozy, soft, pastel veneer. But soon you'll learn that being single in this world is essentially a cardinal sin, and you'll find much of the strategy revolves around forming the ultimate couples. Lakeburg Legacies has a quite detailed and useful tutorial, but I will say that I couldn't find a way to review the prior tutorial information that I did accidentally skip, so as you're going through the tutorial, click wisely. You'll start with your first citizen, and upon housing them, you immediately move on to the matchmaking. When matchmaking, you'll be presented with endless suitors that you can go through if you have enough of the love currency, because each time you swipe through, it costs you a little bit of love. You'll be presented with each suitor's character sheet that offers information on their skills, professional interests, likes, dislikes, and more. However, this information will be the most important since it's how you determine strong pairings, how to best fill empty roles for jobs, and how to pass your date. That's right, you don't just get to smash all these pretty strangers together, you gotta romance them with your invisible hand guiding. Pick answers correctly according to their likes and dislikes, and you can form from a weak to excellent connection. Now, if you have a garbage memory like me, or you're lazy like me, just take a picture of the screen. Uh, your phone's gonna get full of these images, but you can delete them later. It's all for the name of the ultimate matchmaking. So, even though a weak connection which would result from only answering one date question right can still result in a marriage, it does leave the couple open to breakups. And they also produce less of that all-important love resource. Alright, so you'll pick the ideal pairings for both your citizens and your open roles on different jobs, you ace that date, and you plop them in a house to make some babies, or adopt, because it doesn't matter if they're a same-sex couple or not, everybody gets to have children if you allow them to. And then what follows is your typical fare for management sim games, where you'll be building and managing various resource buildings, collecting resources and their stocks, using them to build more things, upgrading said things, etc, etc. There are the classic roles like lumberjacks, farmers, miners, bakers, but also man or woman of the night, and rat trainers, <laughs> which is part of some interesting buildings that can show up and affect the health of your population if you don't put someone there to manage it. You'll increase your number of citizens either through matchmaking within your community, outside of your community, or through recruiting people in which you'll pay new recruits which switch out every few months using your gold, which is another and of course expected resource in a management game. And get ready to hit that speed up button if you're playing the regular or increased difficulty modes, because at least I personally found them to be a bit slow, but also I wasn't really upgrading the speed of resource production, so that's on me. Speaking of difficulty, I did at first play on the sort of classic mode, classic difficulty we'll say, and the standard length, so I found myself starting a new run and bringing it down to the novice or apprentice level, which felt much more comfortable for me and still have fun with all the matchmaking and the medieval stylings. You'll have various random events occur ranging from squabbles between citizens to romantic trysts to house fires. And of course, all the while your citizens age and eventually pass away, leaving a spouse to immediately matchmake. You'll find yourself spending a lot of time in menus and character sheets as you create new couples, switch around jobs or assign new jobs, upgrade buildings, add new buildings, and overall create your dream kingdom, cast system and all. In terms of options, you have your usuals like volume, resolution, and languages, 
and there's only one save file at a time as far as I could tell so there's no going back once you hit start over. I really enjoyed the visual design as you can see here it's got those cozy vibes of the soft but still vibrant colors, and the medieval theming is a delight. Speaking of the medieval theming, the music is by far my favorite part of the game. It's got all the charm of that medieval style kind of music, and I absolutely see myself enjoying the soundtrack once it's out, while I'm on a drive, or doing chores, or just existing. It's chill and upbeat in all the best ways. Overall, Lakeburg Legacies is an inclusive management sim with a lovely medieval theme and an emphasis on matchmaking.